Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Furniture today bringing y'all a Clash mini video and in today's video we're going to be going over this monk deck. This monk deck is very cheesy. I absolutely love it. It is so fun to play. You should definitely try this out and let me know how it works for you down in the comment section below. And if you've been liking all the deck guides and streams, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell so you don't miss any videos or live streams. But without further ado, let's hop into some gameplay with this deck. All right, here we go. Round one going up against a king. Honestly, this strategy is pretty cheeky. So let's see what we can come up with here. We're going to go with the battle healer right next to the king. Um, let's reroll here. We get the ice wizard to start. That's going to be fine. Um, we'll probably want to grab our battle healer, focus on upgrading that to level three. He does have the archer on the backside, so not gonna be too big of a deal here. We're just gonna consistently heal up. We're gonna put pressure on the king. We're pretty much gonna take that down um, almost immediately. Our slow is gonna affect the king, and which will give our monk an opportunity to build up uh, its super. And then we'll be able to super down his battle healer and then make way towards his archer, his battle healer, not gonna matter too much and then we work towards the archer he's dropping the emote he's like no please don't hit me with the cheeky strategy all right so here we go heading into it round number two we're gonna go with the block but i'm also gonna be selling this ice wizard and we're gonna go for the pekka on to the heal tile so we do have rocket we do have pancaker and we do have hot pot um i think the play depending on what he does is if he goes rocket we'll probably want to go with the pancaker he's not going to be able to get the uh monk rage potion off so our monk or uh, his he won't be able to get his lumberjack rage potion off so our monk um won't be taking too fast of any damage Barbarian King's gonna go down, Battle Healer gets the shield off, and our Monk's just gonna completely steamroll this comp. And it looks like as we head into round three, this is gonna be a fairly quick and easy victory. I actually don't even think we'll need the Royal Ghost at this point. Let's drop the, um, let's try to switch this up. I have a feeling he's just gonna go to this left side, so let's throw the Battle Healer over there. Let's keep the um, Spear Goblin in the middle. Let's go for a reroll, and we're gonna go for the Triage healing wave coming out here and i think what we want to do is we want to throw the pancaker down to keep the monk healthy because when the rocket comes over we want to make sure yep i had a feeling he was going to be going for the rocket um we are going to be able to take his battle healer down almost instantly he does get the archer hits onto our spear goblin which again not going to be too big of a deal um he is going to get a pretty good amount of damage here but again the pancaker on the backside is going to help keep our monk alive he is going to be getting some decent damage onto our battle healer but it's not going to matter too much we get the stun knock up with the monk even though he was invisible and this is going to be a quick and easy round three victory and we take a nice 3-0 with this monk deck all right, here we go. Game two up against Skeleton King. We got Pancaker, we got the Hot Pot, and we have the War Toot. Depending on what he has, War Toot might actually be the play for us. We're going to see how this is going to play out. Let's go with the Monk kind of front side, uh, and we'll grab our Ice Wizard to make sure that we get some extra slow onto his Skeleton King if it is needed. He's going to make sure he gets the extra slow onto our Monk if it is needed so we are going to be able to take care of his mega knight pretty swiftly um and then we should be able to get a super off onto his um skeleton king which means he will get the res off but it's honestly not going to be too big of a deal oh we get the heal off just in time the monk with the super came in clutch we are going to be able to get the super off onto the skeleton king that was a really clutch super from the monk and it because if that skeleton king got one more shot, our battle healer would have been toast. Um, okay, so now let's... Do we want to... I don't think we want to grab the ghost here um, just yet. We want to keep... I think we want to keep this strategy. We want to keep the ice wizard um, in play. I think we're going to go with the extra range. Um... And then seeing what he has, he has Mega Knight, he has Ice Wizard. If he has Electro Wizard or Giant Skeleton or Musketeer, he does have the Electro Wizard. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, and he also has the um, Swordsman. So this this means our round, 
our gizmo we're going to be going with is going to be War 2. We want to make sure that we get um, his control out of the way. He gets no control options. Um, that's going to be our go-to strategy here. I mean, we take a pretty convincing victory in round two, but I mean... The strategy here is going to be making sure that he does not get anything off. So let's go with our Shining Plate here. Um, I am going to sell this. We're going to go with the upgrade here. And then I think we want to go upgrade. Or do I want to go with the Ghost? I don't re-roll. Let's actually go double Battle Healer upgrade. And then we're going to go with our War Toot. So we're going to keep everything here. We'll get the War Toot. This means he's not going to be able to slow us down. He's not going to be able to stun us. He's not going to be able to do any of that stuff. He does have his Swordsman going to the backside. But our P.E.K.K.A. is actually going to go around on the back and help clean up pretty nicely. We do have the slow um, from our Ice Wiz there. Monk is going to come through on the other side. We're going to be able to take his... Um, Skeleton King down. He is going to be able to get the stun. Uh, from, he's going to be able to get the shot from the E Wiz, but it's not going to do anything. And now our Ice Wiz, E Wiz, or Ice Wiz, um, Pekka, Monk, it's all going to be rolling through. <laughs> it's going to be a quick, clean 3 0. I can't even talk right because this mo these matches just go so quickly. And right, here we go. Game three. We are going up against a Wave Master. We have Sauna. We have Elixir Collector. This is going to be interesting play. Let's start by going with the monk right here. We're going to go with the battle healer onto the healing tile. And then we're going to reroll and we're going to go with the ice wizard. I think ice wizard is going to be a lot more helpful here. So that's what we're going to be rocking. He is going to be able to get uh, the clone wave master, but it's not going to matter too much. We do waste a super onto the full health wave master. Uh, or onto the lesser health wave master. He does have the dark goblin on the backside, which is going to be quite annoying. Um, our ice wizard will be able to slow his dark goblin down just a little bit. We are going to be able to get our battle healer off. It should be able to heal quick enough to outpace the dark goblin while it's slowed down, which it does. So we'll get a easy round one victory here. He's probably going to have swordsman or Valkyrie coming out here in round two. So let's grab our uh, battle healer with the armor upgrade and we aren't going to be able to get another upgrade onto the ice wizard but we will sell this um and we're going to go with the um let's have the greater slow so this way if we really need to we can get the uh dark goblin taken down and i think we're going to go with the elixir pump here getting the elixir pump here even if he's able to take us down we'll make sure that we get level three battle healer we'll be able to upgrade our ghost and everything like that so it's really going to help us um kind of push through to the vic uh, to the finish line here he is going to start getting um some really nice shots with his dark goblin his dark goblin is going to be able to clean up on us really easily um so he is going to be able to get a round two victory fairly quickly. So what this is going to mean is we're probably going to want to start to prioritize getting our P.E.K.K.A. down. We're going to want to shift our um, Monk over there. We're going to go with our P.E.K.K.A. right here. And I'm not going to go with the Royal Ghost just yet. Um, actually, I'm going to pull out one Royal Ghost. Okay, we do get... Oh, these are nice upgrades. Ooh, I think we're going to sell the Ice Wiz. And we're just going to go straight level 3 Battle Healer. And just start putting on the pressure. Um, he's going to keep Dark Goblin on the right side. We're going to be able to super down his full health Wave Master. Which is going to be fine because now he won't have two full health Wave Masters. We're going to go with our Battle Healer. Our Monk is probably going to get taken down here. Um, he is going to be... Oh, the super... Oh my gosh, the supers from the battle healers were clutch. He is going to be able to come through with the wave master, but I think uh, he won't be able to do much as long as our monk is able to get the super off, which it does. GG, well played. Oh my goodness, the clutch heals from the battle healer. Okay, so I think this is the strategy. Let's just go straight P.E.K.K.A. level 3. If we are able to get it, we do. This is going to be huge. So we have P.E.K.K.A. with Unstoppable. We just got a full upgraded P.E.K.K.A. If he wins this round, I would honestly be extremely surprised. Um, I don't think there's any way he wins this. And if he does, we're just going to roll Ghost um, and just completely shut him down. So let's see how this is going to go. He does get the Wave Master into the uh, Sauna, which is going to be completely fine. 
Pekka has the Unstoppable. It's not going to get stunned from the um, Musketeer. His Wave Master is going to go through. Pekka is going to be able to get a shot onto his Dark Goblin. And look at this three-star army just storming towards his Wave Master. There, there's not much he can do. He can try to build up as much damage as he wants. Monks can get the super. That's going to be a GG well played. So that's going to do it for this one. I mean, honestly, we didn't even need the Royal Ghost, um, but this deck works so freaking good. You have the control with the Ice Wizard for early round. You have the pressure with the Spear Goblin if you need it. And then you have the combination of the Royal Ghost onto the Battle Healer and the Monk. So that way you can just start building up your healers, getting shields down for your units, and then also letting the Monk just start casting supers immediately. And then you also have Pekka for insane damage for going against Battle Healers, against Shield Maidens, against Skeleton Kings, against Mega Knights. It really helps take care of it all. And then again, of course, the best gizmo with this is going to be the Elixir Pump. And then in combination, uh, War Toot will help you tremendously if you're going up against control-based decks. And then also you have Pancaker if you need to get some extra health onto your monk. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content, and don't forget to turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace out.